see what I've got, folks. I don't know. This is going to be hard to do. I'm going to take a tuber out of one of his tuber pots. Microphone? Uh, we're going to clip it. I'm going to take a tuber out of the tuber pot that it was grown in, mud and all, and we're going to process one for the next 10 years. And I'm going to show you how it's done, how we do it. The girls hate this because they get dirty. But they're, you know, they, I, I hope they can get their nails done when they want to, but this is what we do. So I'm going to process one in front of everybody, and we're going to pack it. The white material here is the fabric. It's not the tablecloth. I just brought a big piece so you can see what it's like, and you can get a chunk if you want to so that you know what it is. If you uh, take this fabric and you put it in water, aged water or distilled water, and press, hand press it, until you can't get any moisture out of it, that's the moisture content that you want in the pellet, the fabric. Then you just fold the tuber up, pack it, and it's good for years to come. So uh, without further ado, I'll go ahead and pull one from its pot. We'll cut the contractile roots off. I will pack it in front of you, and then you can kind of see a kind of an idea as a group of what, of what we do to try to do this. I don't know any other way we can't process it on a wants to know how to do this, wants to see it. We've made a little bit of space. Please let's not bang into the projector. Let's, you know, come on up and you can see you've got to get a hands-on feel for it and at the same time we can ask questions yeah, a little see. more intimately. Oh my God. You can open these up if you want now. Now this here is a see we told you that we check them out every so often because we don't want them to dry out. This is a this was packed in 2007, and in 2008 we repacked it. Now we talked about it growing as it's dormant. So you can see we're going to take this stuff off of here and undo this bulb. Here's a little one. You can see the growing point still there growing on this tuber. And look at this. If you need a picture, let me hold that still a second. <laughs> Okay, and you can see how long this has grown. See, it's, this is years of growth in a dormant state. It doesn't know why it hadn't rained, but uh, that's what it's waiting for is water. And uh, when we plunge this tuber, like I say, in a week we've got leaves. And, but this is an old tuber that's been around for a long time. Can you like to look it over? Uh, show, them, show them the conch with all the... And here's the August, August Coke. Viviparous, you can pass it around. Look at all the little baby, baby, baby plants. Did you say the bag is not zipped completely? Or it no, it's zipped completely. But it breathes enough, Robert, that uh, that that's why we have to continue to wet this material. You pass that around, look at that if you want to. Here's the fabric. This is the fabric that you want to go and buy from your local Walmart to do this. And then we put the thing. You go to a Hobby Lobby or somewhere and get these little bags that are sealable. Now, of course, we get them in a bigger size if the tube is bigger. But you put this in a little bag like this, as you see, and a uh, very simple process. Not complicated at all. It's a way to get it done. Anyway, here's the plan. Temperature storage and light storage. Light storage and temperature. Stuff that's stored at room temperature, in any light or out light. Makes no difference. As long as the plant doesn't have a sufficient water, it can't germinate as far as growing and getting big. You keep them at room temperature so you don't have to have any cooling or anything like that. Just keep them in the house. I've got probably $40,000 worth of bulbs in my house and hope I don't have a fire. <laughs> <laughs> but these are done, you do this once they've, they've quit uh, get throwing off leaves when they're dormant. Yeah, you can see here's one that's gone dormant. It's still got a few. It's still got a leaf or two. This plant has gone into dormancy. We're going to go in right in here, and we're going to take it out. And of course, you all know that this is kind of a muddy situation, but that's what we do sometimes. We have to get dirty. And uh, so there's all the contractile roots that have pulled this tuber down into the mud into the fertilizer. Look, we've got three tubers here. So we, uh, we did good on this one. Go ahead and pull this off, wash it, and then somewhere I've got some scissors. And look, here's what's happened here. Here's the old mother tuber. There's got two or three plants called are going to come off of that. And out of that, a little baby came. 
stacked on top like they do in nature. Here's a contractile, fat, fleshy root. This is once to the feeder root, but when it found out it ran out of food, or it's not going to make it, <coughs> it sends it into dormancy for another season. So we kind of cheat the situation, it runs out of food. Now what I do, you want to make sure that when you process tu this tuber, you cut this off. Don't pull it off. You'll go into the caudex and cause it to rot. Cut this off. You cut the top of the leaves off. Looks like we're being mean. This is ready to pack. We'll take this one. It's not really. We need to get that one off too. Anyway, there we go. There's one. This came off of the bottom. This was the bottom, but see when you stack them, there'll be another plant come from this point. So we want to make sure that we've got uh, these two tubers here. Here they are. What was the name of this one? Did it have a tag? Okay, this is a uh, true Zanzibarensis. This is worth money. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we take this thing, pack it like this. Does everybody sees? No. 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 Okay. Just didn't See, look like two little things you could eat. Aged water, no water, or, or distilled. Water, distilled. Distilled water. Okay. Not chlorinated water. Uh -huh. No, no. Okay, so there they are. And they've got growing tips on them. We know it's good. Mm -hmm. Nothing else? Or distilled. No. Just yeah. you want so, so I put this, uh, this cloth, this uh, fabric in here, okay? And I squeeze the water out like that. We're done. That's the kind of, that's the moisture content you want. You don't want it too wet. If you put it too wet, this will rot. Put it too dry. Well, that's not so good either. We pack it up like this. Put it like this. Can you hold it up? You can't see back here. Okay. Hey, pack it up. Here we do it again. We've got this, uh, these tubers that we fixed. We're going to put it in here like so. Like that. Everybody sees? Okay, then we're just going to fold it up. It's not complicated, right? <laughs> oh, it is. It's super complicated. Oh, let me take notes. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we'll open this bag up. You see that it's got a seal there. We stick it in. Of course, we'll put the label on it before we put it in. We packed it. We sealed it up. This is good for at least three to four years. Like this. How often do you have to open it? Now how, the question is how often do we open it up? Once a year, at least. Once Maybe year. once every six months. The rare material once every six months. They get cycled over. But all we do is take it back out and we'll see the green tips is still trying to grow. Take it out, uh, put it in the, the fabric in some water, moisten it again, squeeze it, pack it back. It's good, good to go. So if you're just saving it till the next spring, you won't have to dampen it. You don't have to do much of anything. Uh, but it still needs to be damped when you, you initially might, put it in. Yeah, you want it to you want it to stay damp, but you don't have you don't want it to.